Devin, let me move on. You've got a huge week ahead for Truth Social. I yeah. know that you're just a few weeks away from official launch, but you've already been up and running. I know I've been yeah. on the platform. Tell us where Truth Social stands right now. Yeah, I mean, it's really exciting because we've, you know, we're now day 10. Every day we bring on more and more Americans and we're getting to you as quickly as possible. We're doing something that uh, is really, Maria, uh, it, it's just such a, it's such a great opportunity for, for, for President Trump, for me, uh, for our whole team that's working at TMDTG around the clock, especially as you see the excitement of people who have been booted from social media for the last two or three years. I mean, there's excitement on our platform right now and people, it's, it's inspirational. Honestly, it's just, it's, it's actually very moving uh, for me to see people that are on the platform that have had their, that had their voice canceled. You know, and that's our main goal here is to give people their voice back. People are giving us feedback. Uh, we continue to make changes, make improvements. Uh, we, we continue to roll out more and more people. So, you know, this week we'll begin to roll out uh, people on the Apple App Store. Uh, that's going to be awesome because we're going to get so many more people that are going to be on the platform. And then, look, our, our goal is, and I think we're going to hit it. I think by the by the end of March, we're going to be fully operational, uh, with at least within the United States. So, so we're having a lot of fun. Uh, and like I said, it's, uh, you know, we're focused on, on customer experience, right? We want to value our customers and we want them to tell us what they would like to have on the platform, Maria, which is the yeah. opposite of some Silicon Valley tech oligarch freak telling people what they want to think and deciding who can or cannot be on the platform. I mean, we're really taking just yeah. the opposite approach, which is valuing our customers. Well, this is a really big week for you, I know, uh, especially being on the on the App Store like that. But are you going to be beholden in any way to big tech? Look what Apple did to Parler. Uh, and also, I know you're launching Truth Social, the social media company, but you've got other mm -hmm. products uh, down the road as well. You're looking eventually to take some market share from Facebook, right? Yeah, I mean, look, what it's all about customer experience, right? So as we go, as we continue to build out the platform that we have now, there is going, there is a need and a want out there to have components of of Meta. I think that's what they call it now. So the old Facebook, a lot of people want to be able to post pictures and videos and things of that, and have groups. So you know, in the future, we'll be looking to see, you know, what what can we build. Uh, to meet our customer demand, to meet what the customers actually want. And I think the main right. thing of all this, what, what people are mainly wanting out here, Maria, and you see it on the platform, I know you see it because I know you're on there, you see that people just want to be left alone. They feel like they're free. I mean, right. they say that, wow, I can actually talk about this on this platform. Yeah. I got banned from Twitter two years ago. Yeah. Unbelievable. And a lot of the stories that we've talked about, which are uh, true and uh, like what Tom Cotton said a few minutes ago about COVID-19, we're, we're banned from right. the Internet. It's absolutely extraordinary. Devin, we'll be watching right. the big week ahead. Thanks very much for being here this Thank morning. You.